Here's a little quick question on ratios. We've got sweets in a bag. We've got uh, two green sweets to the ratio of five blue sweets to the ratio of seven black sweets. Uh, so if we were actually to work out how many sweets would there be in that bag, it's just where well, we'd have two plus five plus seven. So in a small bag of sweets, we'd actually have a total of 14 sweets. And the question was actually, okay, uh, what would be the ratio of sweets if it was in the same ratio, but in a much bigger bag? Well, if we had 154 sweets with the same ratio as the small bag, how many of each sort would there be? Well, in order to work out that, we have to actually work out how many times bigger is this larger bag compared with the smaller bag and how do we do that when we're trying to work out how many times bigger is that if we take the larger bag 154 and we divide it by 14 we find out how many times big larger the larger bag is compared with the smaller bag okay uh, can we do this without a calculator yes we can in short division 15 divided by 14 goes one time there's one left over, we move that over and we're now looking at 14 divided by 14, that's 1. So we're actually multiplying 14 by 11 to get 154 sweets. So we're multiplying by 11 to go from a small bag to a large bag. So we do exactly the same here. We multiply the number of black sweets by 11, we multiply the number of blue sweets by 11, and we multiply the number of green sweets by 11. 2 times 11 is 22. 5 times 11 is 55. 7 times 11 is 77. So the selection that we would have in the bag of large sweets would be 22 green, 55 blue and 77 black. And before we actually finish and answer the question that this would ha be how the sweets would be mixed, assuming there was the same ratio in the large bag as the small bag, we can do a little check here. Because if we've done everything right and we add this number up of all the loose sweets, we should, of course, get the total of 154. 7 and 5 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 7 and 5 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. So we get 154, which is the total number of sweets we should have got. So now we can answer the question. Number of sweets in the large bag is 22 green, 55 blue, and 77 black. And there you are. Notice my strategy to this type of question. Notice I don't just try and go in and work out the answer directly. I always try if I can, whenever it's a problem solving type question, make a little sketch, make it easy to see what's going on. Do a little sketch, even if there is no small bag of 14 sweets, pretend that there is one. If they just give you this ratio and said, how many sweets would there be in 154? Break the problem up into several small areas. Pretend that there is one. Then work out how many times have I increased this total number of sweets to get to this number of 154. So problem solving is quite often about making a little sketch, trying to work out what the question is. And maybe you're not actually 100% certain of how you're going to solve it, but these sketches and these steps forwards really help. And then I'm showing every step of the way. What am I doing here? Here I'm showing my division. Here I'm working out number, I'm multiplying the, the smaller bag to get the bigger bag and showing that I'm doing the same thing here. This working out is really easy to follow and this is what you should be trying to do with a in a maths question. It's not just about quickly putting some numbers down and putting an answer, it's, it's by telling a story. You're telling a mathematical story with every problem solving question that you're trying to solve. And if you can do it with pictures or any way that makes it very clear for the reader to understand what you're doing, then I think it's very good. And I always try and do some sort of check if I can, um, that shows that I really understood what I'm trying to get. So good luck with, with problem solving. It's an art form and uh, enjoy it. It's great fun.